All right, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you guys enjoy this video. Maybe share it to somebody else that may be in need of some help, need of some math help. And yeah, share it to your friends, family, whoever you know. All right, let's get into it today. Today we're gonna to be solving a system by elimination. First, we're gonna, this video is gonna be dealing with addition. Uh, in the next video, we can do subtraction, but today we're gonna to be focused on focusing on addition. Okay, so we have these two equations right here, 3x minus 2y equals 13, and x plus 2y equals 7. All right, we have these two equations right here. They're both in standard form. Now I'm gonna teach you guys kind of what to look for uh, in trying to do elimination and how to do it. Uh, so yeah, so uh, with addition, you kind of want to look for like two opposites because you want to eliminate it as, um, as the title says. So right here we have this negative 2y and we have this 2y. You can kind of see that they're opposites. They have different signs, but they're the exact same thing. So that's kind of what you want to look for in uh, addition. They won't always be uh, in, they won't always be so simple, but a lot of the, a lot of the time for addition, if you're just going to try to look for the opposites and then try to cancel out. So what you're going to be doing is adding these two equations right here. Basically like a regular addition problem. That's what we're trying to do. So right here we have 3x plus x. We're going to have 4x. This negative 2y plus 2y, you're going to have 0y. Take it away. Doesn't matter. You can just go away because it's going to be 0. 13 plus 7 would give you 20. Don't forget, this is on the other side. It's going to be on the other side too of the equal sign. So why we are doing this is because we want the coordinate uh, where the two lines intersect. So in this case, we are looking for the x because the y's cancel out. You could also have a situation where the x's cancel out. Maybe they are the ones that are opposite of each other. But in this case, it's the y. The y's are the opposite of each other, different sign. That's why the y's cancel out. Now, 4x equals 20. Remember, we want 4 by itself. So we divide by 4 because this is multiplication. And we're going to do the opposite, which is division. Divide both sides by 4. And we have x equals 20 divided by 4 would give you 5. So now we know our first half. We know the x. That's check. That's all good. Now we need to know the y. What is going to be the y? Now this 5, how I taught you guys in previous videos, you can plug it to any equation that you want right here. Let's plug it into this red one and see what it gives us. Okay, we have this x, which is what we're going to plug in right here. 5 plus 2y equals 7. Now, we're solving for y. Uh, move the 5 to the right side. Minus 5 to both sides. 5 minus 5 would give you 0. Forget about that. Bring down the 2y. 7 minus 5 would give you 2. Now, this solving for y, this multiplication through the opposite, which is division, divide both sides by 2, and you would get y equals 1. So now we have our coordinate 5, 1. That is the point where these two lines intersect. And remember, you can do it to any of the, um, any of the equations up here. You can plug in the 5 to the x right here, or to this x right here with the 3. But I just plugged into this one, looked a bit easier, and gave us the the answer of 5 comma 1. So that is how you uh, solve a system by eliminating with just addition. Uh, next video, I'll teach you guys how to do it with subtraction. All right, thank you so much for watching.